idea of a coffee shop would be a place talaga where people could come together. You can come in with your friends, you meet another group of people, then you end up talking to each other or whatever, diba? So, communing talaga. So, that was the entire idea. It, that's why we have this huge table in the middle, the communal table. Um, also, when we open the communal so this table... Is couch. Yes, <laughs> this is my orange couch. Um, when we first opened, mga, a bit over two years ago, the concept of the communal table wasn't very big in Manila. I think Pinoy's generally were very cliquish. We stick to our friends, diba? So, the idea of sharing tables to us is a bit intrusive but it's something that we're opening up to now and it's nice because it's actually really happened where we place people here na hindi magkakakilala and then they end up building like some business connection or becoming friends or something else. We're apparently part of this movement called the Third Wave of Coffee. Um, it was a concept popularized in the United States. Um, it's been said that the first wave of coffee was after the war when canned coffee became popular, like the Maxwell House, Folgers, and all that. Um, and Hills Brothers, which in the Philippines is known as Hills Bros. Um, so, parang that, that gave rise to brewing coffee at home. So everyone had a... Uh, Everyone had a drip coffee machine and they would buy the canned coffee and make their brewed coffee at home. That's the first wave. Second wave was when all these chains um, came out and then started teaching people how to drink espresso-based drinks and other coffee drinks. And then the third wave is sort of like um, going back to the roots, not so much... Um, chain coffee establishments but really independent coffee houses that give particular attention to the quality of the coffee that they produce from the beans that they use um, sometimes even going as far as meeting the farmers checking out the farm seeing how they produce the coffee to how it's roasted and to how it's meticulously prepared and we do that um, we as I've said we travel with the coffee board to the different coffee farms um, most of the coffee we serve here I may have met the person who actually toils that farm. Um, we work closely with a roaster for the kinds of coffee that we have and then um, each cup is prepared with care from the espresso based drinks where we use the espresso machine to make your lattes or cappuccinos um, to the hand poured coffees. So we have different devices for making coffees. We really serve only Philippine coffee. We do have good coffee. We have heirloom varieties that when you say heirloom, it's never been um, crossbred with another variety or something. I mean real traditional um, coffee. Uh, and we grow all four varieties. So now it's part of our advocacy. Helping promote the fact that we have good Philippine coffee is one thing. It's, it's really building the awareness. And when there's awareness and demand for the coffee, then the farmers also realize the need for them to produce good coffee. So it kind of works together. And so in the end, ultimately, it's for the Philippines to produce enough high-quality specialty coffee that the world will really want to taste. The food we have here in Commune is really, the main thing is that it's comfort food. And as I've said, we're the neighborhood cafe. Um, if you live and work in Salcedo Village, it's kind of hard to find a place with home-cooked food, stuff that your mom or Lola would cook for you at a reasonable price. The chicken adobo sagata, which is one of our best sellers, we use freshly grated coconut. So if you live in a condo alone, that's probably something you'll never cook because you have to go to the palenque to buy the coconut. Um, and then beef tapa, which is a recipe of my lola. We also have freshly baked apple pie, which my niece bakes for the cafe every day. And bacon tomato mozza, so we also have some sandwiches for people who prefer light meals. <laughs> and um, with the rice meals, it's Filipino viands. We also have gising gising, cigarilla sagata. Then you can choose white rice, red rice, garlic, or adobo.